Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. Welcome to September, September 1st. Uh, I am in another open field. Although this open field is not abandoned, there are quite a few of uh, athletic enthusiasts who are playing soccer, uh, visiting with family members, jogging and doing what not to keep their body in shape. I, I received another package today. Uh, the package is directly behind me. I will get that package and I will open that package in a safe manner in this open field. This is not the same open field where we had the uh, garden equipment and the strong winds. Uh, today's winds are down quite a bit. It's about 68 degrees. There is a slight breeze, but I don't think it will be a problem today. Some of the items that jumped at, uh, out at me today just jumped out at me today. Uh, 1952 Life Magazine released The Old Man and the Sea by Ernest Hemingway. It was one of the last great uh, works of this gentleman and it became uh, a very successful novel was released as a novel and it did win a Pulitzer Prize uh, uh, award as well. Uh, Ernest Hemingway was a wonderful writer and a great, great storyteller and a novelist, talented beyond anybody's imagination but as a real person in real life, he was a train wreck. I don't know why. Big engine, big engine. I don't know why it seems to be popular when you have a lot of money or you're very good at something, it gives you a license to be a uh, less than honorable citizen or person to others. So uh, I don't know what that is. Big engine. Uh, uh, that was 1952. Uh, Life magazine released, uh, I guess it was, uh, uh, portions of this, uh, The Old Man in the Sea. In 1954, Alfred Hitchcock released his uh, rear window. Alfred Hitchcock, as you know, was uh, the equivalent of acquiring uh, uh, Quentin Tarantino today. And this was uh, starred uh, Jimmy Stewart and uh, James Stewart and Grace Kelly. Grace Kelly went on to marry the uh, King of Monaco and was killed tragically in an automobile accident. Uh, still a very young, beautiful wom uh, woman. So she, uh, she gave Hollywood the boot, fell in love with the King of Monaco, moved to Monaco, married the king, and uh, tragically lost her life in an automobile accident, or as the police department calls it, a TC. They call it a TC because they don't want to assign blame, and sometimes it's not an accident. So they call it a TC, traffic collision. Normal or regular people or uh, lay people call it a traffic accident. Law enforcement calls it a TC, traffic collision. And in uh, 1985, the Titanic was found in 13,000 feet of water. Uh, evidently, this park is close to an airfield. I am not sure, but I can only surmise In 1985, uh, they found the Titanic in 13,000 feet of water, or 4,000 meters. Isn't that wonderful? One planet, two, two ways for exp uh, explaining depth or distance. Wow, 2021 and we still, or still cannot get all on the same page. Therefore, I have to give you uh, feet, 13,000 feet, and for the rest of the world, I have to give uh, uh, meters, and that was 4,000 meters. The Titanic was found, 
probably found uh, not too far away from where it sank. And uh, that was quite a discovery. It was discovered by Robert Bollard. He was fishing for a flounder and his hook snagged one of the uh, deck chairs and he pulled up a deck chair. Uh, and that was what led them to believe that maybe there was something down there besides flounder. Anyway, you'll have to Google, uh, Google it, Google, 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 Google it yourself. So, uh, without further delay or interruption, let's get this package and open it safely. Okay, uh, people are also walking their dogs here in the park. I can see a few, uh, three dogs uh, in the park. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check. This is from uh, a gentleman by the name of Jim, uh, Jim Wallace. Uh, it's got a Pennsylvania address. I did not receive a contact. I did not receive a call. Therefore, this has to be characterized as a dangerous or suspicious package. But I will go into my address book and I do find, I do find a Jim Wallace in my address book. I recognize the name Jim Wallace, my late sister's husband, Jim Wallace. The address matches the address I have in my address book on the package. So this is a great start. No red flags here. Everything seems to be in order. The, the, the return address and the name on the package match the name and address in my address book. So I'm off to a very safe and good start. The next thing I want to do is again, I'm going to speed this up a little bit because I think you know the procedures by now and I don't want to take any more time than I have to. You go over it with a magnifying glass and look for any suspicious tampering that this package may have that was not authorized by the initial shipper. We can only hope it doesn't have any peanuts. I found out what they call those annoying styrofoam pieces of foam. They're called peanuts and they should be outlawed immediately along with leaf blowers and low flying helicopters. It looks good to me. It doesn't look like it was molested in any way. Just give it a quick glance. Take the time to do it correctly. Take your time to be thorough. And it looks like it's in good shape. Take your magnet, in this case, it's the magnet from my uh, iPhone case, and run that around. See if you've got any magnetic waves, any uh, magnetic uh, uh, attractions. That would indicate perhaps a ticking device of some kind, perhaps uh, something nefarious. Opening a package, the last thing you want is something nefarious. It looks good. I didn't detect any magnetic fields whatsoever, whether positive or negative, on this particular package. It's going well. And the last thing I'll do is I'll check for any sound on the package. And again, your package should be uh, soundless.
and this package this package this package does not emit any sound so we are good to go we are ready to open up this package I have a fire extinguisher just in case I will put myself in the event that I catch fire from uh, something that needs to be put out I'll put this cushion as a chest protector I'll grab my scissor and then I'll proceed to open this package Nothing so far. Everything seems normal. Check the contents of the package. Make sure the package is empty and everything has been removed. No sign of any foul play here. Wow, look at this. Isn't that nice? Dodgers, a Dodger. Wow. Holy cow, thank you. Double X, beautiful, thank you, Jim. Number 31, wow. Can you read the name on the back? Sure you can. You probably can read the name on the back better than I can read the name on the back. So this might be the last birthday package that I receive. Get over it. It's just another birthday. Have a happy one. Special birthday, special year. Have a good one, Jim. Very nice. Very nice. Get over it. So, a very successful. You can't take too many chances opening up packages you receive in the mail. And uh, let's recap. In 1952, Emerson Hennyways, A Man and the Sea, uh, was released in Life magazine. It later became a book and a Pulitzer Prize winner. And uh, our hats are off to Ernest Hemingway. It's too bad that he was uh, who he was in real life. Uh, in 1954, uh, Alfred Hitchcock's The Rear Window was released in color with James Stewart and Grace Kelly. And it is a classic film for you people who love movies. These are some movies you do not want to miss. I mean, uh, until you see an Alfred, Hit Alfred Hitchcock movie, you really haven't seen a movie. And in 1978, uh, I think it was, 1985, the Titanic was found by Robert Ballard uh, fishing for a flounder. His hook uh, hooked a, a deck chair. He pulled the deck chair to the surface and was curious enough to think that maybe there was a Titanic underneath the deck chair. So, thanks, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm going to close this video now and see that I can uh, get on. Uh, the sun is going down. It's just about 20 minutes after 6 p.m. on the 1st of September. It's a new month. It's a new slate. It's a new opportunity to change your ways if your ways need changing. It's an opportunity to be everything you can be in your life. We have choices, and the choices are all up to you. I'm going to come around, come around, and I am going to shut this presentation off. And uh, hopefully I'll have the sound I need for this presentation, the images, and everything else that's required 